you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Do you ever feel sleepy, but you hear weird noises that keep you awake? Yes, sometimes that happens. Well, Mr. Snore is very sleepy and he's about to check into the Cher Moore Hotel for a good night's sleep. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if Mr. Snore can get any sleep. There's a dinosaur on the 13th floor by Wade Bradford. Welcome to the Cher Moore Hotel, said the bellhop. You must be Mr. Snore. Let me show you to your room. The sooner the better, said Mr. Snore. I am very uh, sleepy. Here you are, said the bellhop, room 104. Sweet dreams, Mr. Snore. Mr. Snore thanked the bellhop, got ready for bed, crawled under the covers, and switched off the light. But as he was about to lay his head upon the pillow, he heard a squeaking sound. Hello, front desk. This is Mr. Snore in room 104. Somebody is sleeping on my pillow. Squeak. Yes, that would be the mouse, said the bellhop. I believe he has had a very long day. So have I, grumbled Mr. Snore, and I do not wish to share a room with a mouse. So the bellhop led Mr. Snore to a room on the second floor. Sleep tight, Mr. Snore. Mr. Snore crawled into bed and switched off the light. But just as he was falling asleep, he felt a rush of cold air. Mr. Snore called the front desk again. Someone is hogging all the covers. That would be the pig, said the bellhop. Shall I bring you another blanket? No, Mr. Snore fumed. I want another room. So the bellhop took Mr. Snore to the third floor where there were no pigs or mice to be found. Mr. Snore kicked off his slippers, crawled into bed, and was just about to close his eyes when drip, drip, drip. Sorry about the leaky ceiling, the bellhop said as Mr. Snore marched past the ocean view on the fourth floor. This time, declared Mr. Snore, I will find my own room. He found one on the fifth floor. But I don't think you will like this room, whispered the bellhop, unless, of course, you are fond of Spiders, cried Mr. Snore. Quick, said the bellhop, to the elevator. How do you feel about bees, asked the bellhop. The same way I feel about spiders, said Mr. Snore. Please skip the sixth floor. The seventh floor was too hot. The eighth floor was too cold. The ninth floor was just... Giraffes, cried Mr. Snore. The bellhop smiled. 
Would you care to guess what's on the 10th floor? On the 10th floor, they found hamsters. Where are the rest of the giraffes? Asked Mr. Snore. On the 11th floor, said the bellhop. Then I will stay on the 12th, said Mr. Snore. So they went to the 12th floor. Hey, it's empty, said Mr. Snore. No one ever stays here, explained the bellhop. Perfect, said Mr. Snore, and he lay down and shut his eyes. It does tend to get a bit noisy, the bellhop warned, but Mr. Snore was already fast asleep. Stomp, 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 gurgle, gurgle, swish, swish. Mr. Snore rang the front desk. I cannot sleep with all this noise. I'm going to find a room on the 13th floor. Oh dear no, said the bellhop. On the 13th floor, there is a click. Mr. Snore did not wait to hear the bellhop's warning. He went up to the 13th floor. There were no mice, no pigs, no penguins, no snakes, no spiders, no dolphins, no bees, and no giraffes. Not even a hint of a hamster. Nothing but a giant room with a giant bed and a giant pillow. I do hope Mr. Snore will be all right said the bellhop. Ring, went the phone at the front desk of the Sharemore Hotel. Hello, this is the dinosaur on the 13th floor. Somebody is sleeping on my pillow. The bellhop sighed. That would be Mr. Snore, he said. He has had a very long day. Bear's wondering, would you stay on the 13th floor? Hmm, some say they like the dinosaur's bed, but aren't sure if they'd like the dinosaur. Well, Bear's asking, who did you feel sorrier for? The dinosaur who gave up his bed? Or Mr. Snore? Hmm. Bear's hoping you come back soon for more adventures in falling asleep. Bye for now. Please subscribe.